Welcome to our presentation ALV transformation and beyond. In the previous video, you have seen the differences between the classical ALV and the ALV on HANA with respect to performance and with respect to features. You could also see how it fits into the classical subgui appearance. In this video, we show you how to transform an ALV grid embedded in an existing application to an ALV on HANA list. First, we introduce the view we are using and explain how the application is built. Then, we transform the application step by step. In addition, we introduce two ideas to eliminate the selection screen, which has an old-fashioned touch for the generation Y. Finally, we walk the tenacious developers through the ALV on HANA interface. Now, have a look on the ALV grid application we want to work on. It selects and presents flight booking data. The application is based on a view definition. The ABAP name of the view is TRM book. You see here the tables which are joined, the drawing conditions and the field list. This is a CDS notation. CDS means Core Data Service and it's a language aligned with HANA. This definition can also be used for creating a pure HANA artifact, but used in the ABAP layer with the ABAP annotation. It is an ABAP artifact like any other DDQ with the ABAP lifecycle management. Back to the report, you see data from the joint tables, data from the booking table, flight one, carrier information, and airport data. How is it implemented? Let's have a look at the program. There is a selection screen, and the data selection from our view, TRM book, into an internal table using the select options and a truncation parameter. We perform an authority check in a loop to prevent that unauthorized data is displayed. Then we have a DUNPRO with a custom container. In the PBO module, an instance of the custom container is created and bound to an instance of an ALV grid. Finally, the internal table with the data to be displayed is bound to the ALV instance. The rest is normal DUMPO handling. Now we know how the application works and we can start the transformation. We comment the SELECT statement and the authority check. Then we delete the ALV grid handling. We begin with transforming the SELECT statement. We create an ALV on HANA instance and bind it to our view TRM book and the custom container. If you have any doubts, this is ABAP, with a more concise syntax. But don't worry, the old one is still working. So we save and activate and run the transaction. The selection screen is out of order, so we go immediately to the list and browse the display data. Back again to the program, we tackle the select options. This is a more cumbersome task as to use them in the classical select statement. We need a helper class to collect the range tables. We have only one range table. It could be more, as many as we need. It is also possible to create more complex conditions of the condition interface, but we do not use it here in this example. The helper class returns us a collection of range tables. We bind it to the ALV on HANA instance, save and activate the program, and run it. Now we can use the selection screen. We enter the selection criteria, care ID LH, and run the application. I group the list to show that only the care ID LH has been selected. I ungroup and add filter. This filter works in addition to the select options set in the program and selection screen. 
The selection screen defines virtual result set on which we are working. Filters are in addition, and deleting the filters don't touch the selections entered on the selection screen. Back again in the program, we attack the authorization check. I copy the old statement to see the differences and similarities later on. With ALV on HANA, the authorization instruction is added to the ALV instance. We hand over the authorization object and the data binding. As you can see, we are using the new concise ABAP syntax. It is also possible to create table entries in line in a statement. It's already visible that the interface resembles the authority check statement. With this, we are done with the transformation of a classical ALV into a HANA ALV. Further steps are in addition and go beyond. Let's just summarize the transformation. The difference is that we instrument ALV with informations to handle the data selections, the operations on the data and its representation. That means in this case, we hand over the data source, the select options and the authority checks to be performed. Let's focus now on the beyond side of the presentation and see how we can improve our application. If you have a closer look at the list, you see that the texts are not optimal. The column headers for departure and destination airports are equal. Now we will change that. For this, we have to work with the field catalog interface, which allows us to show or hide fields, change texts or data elements. Of course, this functionality is also available for the classical ALV but I show you how it works in the new context. We assign new column headers for departure and destination airport in using the field catalog interface. And for the destination airport, we are also adding a new tooltip. Now we are ready and can run the application. On the list, you can verify the result. The column headers for destination and departure airport are changed. And for destination airport, we have a new tooltip. Back again in the program, I'll show you how to create more attractive selection possibilities for the generation Y used to Google-like search possibilities. But here, we are still using the old DUNPRO and ALV technology. The first possibility is to start with an initially grouped list. We eliminate the selection screen definition and simply instruct the ALV instance to use grouping and, of course, sorting for the fields carrier name, departure airport, and passenger name. And again, you are not obliged to use this new concise ABAP syntax the old, more chatty syntax is still working. So we run our application and you see immediately the grouped list. And you can drill down to the data. In the classical ALV, grouping worked only on the data in the internal table. So you had two options. Either you selected only the grouping information and a drill down to the items in the same list was not possible or you grouped only the selected data in the internal table and could drill down to the items. Now, with the ALV on HANA, the grouping can be executed on the database and can be used, therefore, to narrow down to the relevant data. The second possibility is to leverage HANA Fuzzy Search. This is a bit more work, as we need an input field for the search string on the DUNPRO. This means some additional data definitions in the program. Then we open the Screen Painter and the Layout Editor, where we add the text and the input field, and activate it. 
while we are waiting for the completion of the task in the screen painter, Fuzzy Search is a similarity search providing not only exact matches. This is interesting for searching in text fields with different spellings of names or American and English spellings of faulty texts, for example. Back in the program, we do not want to start with grouping in this scenario. We have to use the text search interface and set the search string and the similarity. The higher the similarity points, the more precise the result is. We run the application and here we are with the first page. We are searching now for the German name Eichbaum with AI and if you start the search you see that it also returns the names Eichbaum with EI or if we change to English we enter name like Colombo with O instead of U and it also returns the correct names. Our last example is the name Kennedy. At the first view, the result looks quite strange. But Fuzzy Search searches per default in all text-like fields. So, for example, also in the airport. And we see here New York Kennedy Airport. Now we are done with the presentation of the features. For the interested developers, I'll walk through the ALV interface to give you an impression of the feature set. So back again to the program. For ALV users, there are no real surprises. We've already used the authority method to replace the authority check. With the condition factory, we can compose complex their clauses with AND and OR conditions. We already use the default layouting for grouping and sorting, and we used also the field catalog to set the column headers. There's an interface to persist and use persistent layouts. We can get the selected row from the ALV instance. We already used the select options interface. The next method is interesting for HANA view definitions. In HANA views, you can use parameters. If you create an external view, which is another proxy for it, you can use the HANA view in an ALV list. In this case, you may need to set these parameters. You may wonder why to use parameters besides the where clause. But if you define, for example, a view field calculated by the currency conversion, the target currency can be set via this parameter feature. This setting is not suitable for the where clause. We have seen the fuzzy search in action. And last but not least, you can manipulate the toolbar. We are done now. And I hope that this video inspired you to experiment with ALV on Sapana. It is not necessary to replace all classical ALV implementations. But if you face problems with mass data, or if you want to offer new ways for users to search and browse the data, it is definitely an option. With this, I thank you for your interest and draw your attention to the video about the FPM transformation, which also goes beyond the pure transformation of a classical FPM list to one on Sapana.